Right, take two. <laughs> Hopefully this one's not lagging as much as the last one was. Is everyone all right? Right, let's talk about what's happening with Manchester United then and why we're linked with Louis van Gaal's targets because what is all that about? Uh, right, who are we talking about first? Milinkovic Savic. Now, in terms... No, we're going to talk about Rabio first. Let's talk about Rabio first. I did a video yesterday on Rabio. If you've not seen it, it's the worry with Rabio. Uh, and why the worry state? Because he's gash. And you're basically signing... You're basically signing a player with Scott McTominay's ability and Paul Pogba's problems. What you really want is a player with Paul Pogba's ability and Scott McTominay's problems off the pitch. That'd be nice. That's exactly what we want. Um, but yeah, Rabio. What's going on with Rabio? So according to Romano, United are in direct contact with Rabio uh, and his mum. United are now discussing personal terms with the player uh, and his mum. Mum Mumjun? Is it Mumjun? Mum, agent. Um, Juventus want to sell him. Uh, the deal should be completed. A uh, matter of time before personal terms are agreed. He's just not very good. He's not very He's not very good. He's on an absolute fortune. And his mum's a ball bag. Like, she is just the, the, the female version of Raiola. Ten Hag has apparently been involved in direct discussions with a player. Looks like it's going to be around 15 million. Um, and it's been agreed with Juventus. I, I can't believe we're bringing this guy in. I know we need midfield reinforcements. This strikes me as a really, 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 really shit idea. You, what don't we like about McTominay? His ability on the ball, his lack of forward passing, etc. Who are we signing? Rabio. Why? Literally, if you looked at the the metrics of both players and consider one plays in a far better team, their metrics are identical. I don't know why I don't know why we're looking at him. I really don't. I don't know what you get out of bringing Rabio in to United. I think he's absolutely turd. Um, Willie says, "Should we trust Ten Hag on Rabio? Is it Ten Hag signing? You look at who he's signed so far. Yo, know, they, they've all been Dutch players, Dutch league, or players that he's dealt with in the past. Rabio's a bolt out of the blue. Rabio's a mad one. Rabio is a mad one." Rabio is an absolute mad one. Um, anyway, let's talk about Milinkovic Savic because at least Milinkovic Savic. Look, as much as we bag on Milinkovic Savic for being uh, one of Louis Van Gaal's targets, at the end of the day, he's a pretty good age um, and actually a pretty good footballer. This is a this is a different story to um, to bringing in Rabio Milinkovic Savic. Yeah, I'd be happy days with that. I would be happy days with that. I think if he is your number eight, your box to box, your um, replacement for McTominay, yeah, I can get behind that one. My problem is with him and Rabio are either of those because we're not getting Frankie De Jong. I'm less keen on it if that's the case. Um, so United have been linked with Milinkovic Savic. I think definitely under Mourinho. I know for sure we was linked with him under Mourinho. I think we might have also been linked with him under Louis. Obviously his brother played at United um, as a goalkeeper at one point. So there's probably been links with him from then, I guess. According to La Republica, United are set to make a 68 million euro offer for him. Intermediaries believe a deal can be done. There was some talk this morning that uh, Milinkovic Savic would be open to moving to United if that was the case. Looks like uh, Lazio's demands are 70 million euros, which is a little bit, um, only a tad bit more than the 68 United are about to offer. This one sounds like it could get done and I'm, I'm in a much better place mentally about a Milinkovic-Savic move than I am a Rabio move. Rabio just makes fuck all sense on any front. He's literally like, what is it? Overpaid, wanker, not even very good. You need two of them. You can bring, is he mint? Yeah. Is he a bit, has he got a good attitude? Yeah, but we're overpaying him. Ah, I'll roll with that. Are we overpaying him? No. Is he really good? Yeah, he's got a bit of an attitude. I'll deal. Two out of three need to happen. You can't have dickhead bingo and, and have all three of them and think it's going to be a good signing. That's just not a good idea, is it? 
at all. Milinkovic Savic, yes. Rabio, hell no. And then Arnautovic. Um, supposedly, United reached an agreement on personal terms um, for Arnautovic, which is technically an illegal approach um, because Bologna come out uh, and said, uh, Mihalovic as well it was, came out and said, I'd be happy for Marco in the case that he joins United, but he's not going to leave. He's not for sale. I'll speak to him about uh, the proposal, um, but I think he will stay. So they've pretty much come out and said not for sale. That's always the stance, isn't it? After the first bid. But let's just forget about all the rest of that sort of stuff. Arnautovic is not a good signing. And I know United are absolutely desperate for him. The the off the field problem like Arnautovic and Rabio are the sort of signings a desperate new promoted side makes. Desperate. Not a sort of signing that Manchester United makes. That those two are horrendous. Um those two are horrendous options. Malinkovic Savic is a great player and makes a massive difference. Uh, King Israel says uh, Ua is like De Jong and available for just 15 million unbelievable I did a video about Ua four years ago and I called him the most underrated uh, midfielder in Europe or my most underrated player I think it was midfielder though most underrated midfielder in Europe and he was killing it at the time for Leon. and I think I would roll with that in all honesty uh, Richard says do our potential signings just suggest how far we have fallen yeah, uh, Sam Carter says Savic isn't a CDM though. No, he'd be a number eight. Uh, Abinav says, can we get Frankie for free if he terminates his current contract for Barca as per their request? Would be such a Glazer signing. The situation with Barcelona, and I, I mentioned that, I've just done a video um, digging into the Glazers, so keep it locked. So make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications because I think you're going to like that one when it comes out. That should be a good video later on when it comes out. Um <sighs> looking into the finances at Barcelona and how they've tried to cook the books. They've literally tried to cook the books, been caught and had to pay the tax on it. <laughs> Fucking dickheads. And La Liga didn't even buy the additional revenue either. They just went, yeah, nah. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on. They're supposedly suing Frankie de Jong now. Like it's, it's chaos in it. How Frankie de Jong still wants to be part of this club he probably doesn't. He's probably just sitting there going, so I get my cash and I'm fucking gone. I am out of here. Um, Notch says, we could pay off Frankie de Jong's wages with the money spent on Rabio. For one. Yeah, let's start there, shall we? Um, Jay Washington says, would we have got Shesko if Ralph was here? Don't know the answer to that. Uh, Alan says, if the current Frankie de Jong contract is annulled, it reverts to 2024. If this one's annulled, then don't they owe him all sorts of cash? Um, like they, they would actually owe him that stuff then because his wages haven't been deferred. Um, Jack says, I would say Milinkovic Savic is more of a McTominay replacement and Rabio is a squad player. Um, Marie says, Bas is Barcelona a study case? It's a fucking summit case. Uh, Joe says, I'm worried Chelsea will get him. Chelsea are literally in for everyone. I saw one last night, man. Oh, I meant to save it because I thought this would be good for transfer review this week. I can't remember who it was now, but United and, and Chelsea were going head to head for someone. And I was like, fucking, of course we are. Uh, Ryan says, how worried am I? I, I? Listen, incompetence and the Manchester United organization for the last decade go hand in hand. So yeah, I, have, I am always worried about incompetence. And DW says, I still don't get why we're not in for, Ballot, uh, for Bellotti. Arnautovic, for money, who's not for sale allegedly, versus Bellotti. Nope, I don't understand it either. Um, it, Ten Hag should use Martinez as a six. We need him in defence. Uh, Ryan says, uh, Tillman, Garner, Neves, Herrera, all probably available. Well, Garner's ours. He's not doesn't need to be available. But yeah, you're right. We've spent all summer chasing down um, De Jong. And whether he wants to come is up for debate. Whether he's in a sticky situation is not, right? He is in a sticky situation that might not get resolved in the next um, in the next few weeks. It might not. And he might end up having to stay at Barcelona somehow. I don't know how that's going to work, but that, that contract is all sorts of fucking messy. Honestly, the best thing he could do is just try and extract himself from there and come to United. Um, 
But when you look at how much we've wasted on that, Neves and Tealman's probably wouldn't have cost you what Frankie De Jong was going to cost you. And if you like, you could be looking at now bringing in nobody because you don't get Frankie De Jong in and bringing Rabio in, and the shit storm that that's going to bring. <sighs> Absolute fucking carnage. Um, I might have a transfer to tell you guys about, but I'll wait until the paperwork is signed. Um, from Premier League player for Paddock. Stay tuned. He's not signed the paperwork yet. But um, a very, 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 very good player. He's only uh, not long retired, so he'd be fine. Uh, Jack says, if we can manage to get Milinkovic, Savic, Rabio, Rodriguez, then that would be better than Frankie De Jong and anyone else. I don't know. Maybe. I don't want Rabio near the club, though. Um, is it Mark Noble? <laughs> no, it's not Mark Noble, Luke Chadwick, Matt or Aureo. <laughs> sorry. I'm not going to reveal it on here, so don't. I'm not even going to tease it on here, so sorry. Um, and it's not Jack Wilshire. Uh, there's a tweet from Fab just now. Okay, let's react to this live and direct. And it is... Oh, have I took him off? I might have took him off. Let's have a look. Oh, there you go. Rabio had a direct call with uh, Ten Hag on Monday, as reported by Julian Lorenz. Uh, it's confirmed the first step before opening talks with Veronica on a contract. Uh, that's his mum. Oh, Veronique. Talks with United and Juve will continue through intermediaries as of today. What the fuck? Um... Don't understand why we're dealing with this widge. I really don't. Uh, it's not Darren Gibson. Jay Washington says, proud of where Paddock's going. Ah, uh, it's not actually on. Trust me. Um, we got smacked up at weekend, though. We got to be better than that. Um, why aren't we interested in Jonathan David? Honestly, I don't, we clearly don't have the money to splash on De Jong and another marquee signing like that. Um, what position? It is a centre-back. Um, serious questions need to be asked of Ten Hag's judgments based on this. I think genuinely, in all honesty, yeah. What happened to Ben Yedder? Don't know. Uh, Devlar says, Rabio is, in capitals, miles better than McTominay. I mean, I could read out all the stats, and I might do. In fact, let me just pull some of these up. I might read out some of the stats. Okay, so let's talk about him then. Uh, in terms of attacking, uh, in terms of goals, you're looking at 0 0.3, 0 0.03 for McTominay and your 0, 0.00 for, for Rabio. In terms of assists, yeah, you're looking at 0 0.03 for McTominay and 0 0.06 for... Um, for Rabio, both of them in the bottom 50% of midfielders in world football. Shot creating actions, McTominay 1.6 per game, Rabio 1.53. Uh, passes attempted, McTominay 47, Rabio 42 in a far better, more dominant team. Uh, percent of passes completed, McTominay completes 85% of his passes, Rabio 83% of his passes. How many progressive passes? Now, for me, McTominay is incapable of passing the ball forward, right? However, 3.6 two progressive passes which means that three three point two uh 3.62 progressive passes per 90 on average um being passed forward rabio 2.4 progressive carries 4.81 for mctominay 4.75 not one metric is he ahead on so far dribbles completed mctominay dribbling 1.13 per game rabio 0 0.89 losing out again Progressive passes received. Yeah, he gets in front of the ball a little bit more. 2.5 to McTominay's 1.38. Um, defensively, he presses a little bit more. 1.73 for McTominay and 2. Uh, 22 for Rabio. Tackles, 3 for Rabio, 2.3 for McTominay. Interceptions, uh, McTominay 1.95, Rabio 1.4. Um, more clearance, double the clearances for McTominay. More aerials won. You've literally signed a worse McTominay. 
How the fuck have we done that? M Sar says, Rabio ain't a defensive mid. Well, guess what, fuckface? Neither was McTominay. They both play as eights. Um, Bruce says, we can't be jumping on the blame game so early. You can, and it's not about blaming anyone except the fucking Glazers for allowing this shit to go down. Um, what about the Gakpo rumours? We're going to do some content this week, probably on Milinkovic Savic and on um, Gakpo. We'll do some scout reports on all of those guys this week. Am I disappointed that John Murtagh and Richard Arnold have seemed as incompetent as Ed Woodward this summer? I'd argue they've been fucking worse in terms of transfers. This is where we are absolutely crying out for Paul Mitchell. Just fucking start peeling off 20s until he says, let's fucking do it. It's from round here. I'm sh I'm sure I'm sure Monaco's not a bad gaff to live. Um, same old United says C Shaw. Um, Kassam says Ten Hag has to take some of the blame if he's offering these moves, especially for an out of it. If he's authorizing these moves, yeah, he absolutely fucking does. I don't know if he is or if it's just the sort of shit show that's being served up to him. Brian says uh, we're just panic buying at this stage. We fucking absolutely are. Uh, Notch says that Ajax slash Dutch league related only signings we've made now is worrying me about Ten Hag. Well, I think that shows that he doesn't trust our scouting department and he's just gone about it all over himself. Pinky Pearl says Iqbal over Rabio all day. All day. It's not even fucking up for debate, is it? Yeah, I'd rather play Charlie Savage and Iqbal than even fucking contemplate signing Rabio. What a fucking shit deal this is, honestly. Um, and yeah, and guess what? Not only are we bringing in more bellends, we can't shift the ones we've already got. Fucking chaos, this is. Um, Scott Nelson, can we not just go for Tillman? Situation is ridiculous. Do you know what I mean? Leicester are dropping like a stone, right? And you take Tillman out of there as well. They are fucked. You might as well just go do it. That's what Manchester United, and Joe, you know Bayern Munich are excellent at that. Juventus are excellent at that. Uh, both the two big teams in Spain are excellent at that. You buy from uh, Bayern Munich are literally the leaders in the world at this. Someone looks a little bit tasty in your league, buy him, put him in your team. You've made your opposition worse and you've made you better. Well, it's a fucking brilliant move. <sighs> Notch says, worst signing since Fred in terms of being let down. Uh, we need proper strengthening. This is Jose's second window, isn't it? We are getting Jose's second window when they're supposed to be impressing our new manager. Um, Chris Langdon says, you can't play Charlie and Zidane. You'll never win anything with kids. Obviously, that's 100% true. Uh, Raider says, Steve, do I think we'll, the youngsters will realistically get a start this season? Yeah, because the team's fucking gash. Of course it will. Uh, Matt says, get Neves already. Well, there was some talk of him going Barcelona. The fuck he's going there? <laughs> it's fucking bonkers, isn't it? It's absolutely fucking bonkers. I wonder if I could loan Lewandowski for Paddock. I need a striker. If he can't get registered for uh, Barcelona, he's going to need a play somewhere and he keep fit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, give Garner a shot. Yeah, literally. You've just seen a kid rass it up in the, champ in the championship. Why not? Why not? Yeah, Jose's third season. Sorry. Uh, why not play Van der Beek as an eight? I think some people are about to have a massive reality check about Donny Van der Beek. Clearly... Donny van der Beek is not up to it. If the guy that made him the player that United wanted to sign is benching him for Fred and McTominay, like, where all the talk about he just needs someone that trusts him, we've got that guy, and he still don't trust him. What does that tell you? What the fuck must training look like? Uh, Rob says, no resale value, and we're probably paying him about a quarter of a million a week. Yeah, Rabio. Let's Google how much Rabio's on because I'm sure it's 300 bills plus. Oh no, it's not. Apparently not. He's on 113k, which is only about what we were paying Jesse. It's still not a good buy. It's still a, her a hell horrendous buy. 
Uh, why not Neves or Tillman? You know what I'm saying? Literally, both of those two works for me. Um, ISM says, how is it even logical for scouts to sign these players? Uh, Notch says, Van der Beek's still more of a 10 than an 8, and he's not world class at either. He's just a squad player, isn't he? F Hooks says, I like the idea of Milinkovic Savic, uh, but not instead of De Jong. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Like, if you said United's midfield next season is going to be a pairing of Milinkovic Savic and De Jong, I'd go, Pff. tell you what, that's, that's going to rattle some fucking cages. That's a right midfield. But it's not going to be that, is it? It's probably going to be Milinkovic Savic and fucking Fred. Uh, Manchester United escaping, spending more money. Yes. Um, we're getting the Pogba problems without the Pogba abilities. Yes. I literally just said that in a in a previous video. Uh, Rabiot's moment is going to be another circus. Literally. Mackie says, stay any chance we're getting sold soon. Only down the fucking river. Do I think we actually have a comprehensive list of targets? No, I don't. I really don't. Um, you know, we clearly don't want Aaron Wambasaka, but can't sell him. We started another season with Phil Jones on the books, which is mental. Uh, do I think he might have started McFred to get us moving the transfer? No. Like, I know people do love, like, that managers would play them sorts of games. He walks into Old Trafford on Sunday afternoon thinking, three points up the fucking Reds, right? That was all he was thinking. He's not thinking, I'll tell you what, I'll absolutely tank my own record just to see if it gets the board moving. I don't think so. Um... If we play Martinez as a CDM, would Martinez, Ericsson, Bruno midfield work? It might do, but we clearly want him as a centre-half. Um, Seb says, I'd take Berg over these uh, Muppets, especially on the money they'd want. I, I, take, I, take, the, I take Garner, I take Galbraith, I take Zidane, I take, I take Savage, I, I take all of these over Rabio. Rabio's a fucking problem. <laughs> You know what the ceiling with Rabio is, yeah? He's a fucking long haired McTominay. Why would you sign that? Why would you sign that? Whereas you don't know what the ceiling with Zidane is, you don't know what the ceiling with Savage is, and it might be worse than McTominay, but it might be better. Let's find out. Let's find out and move on. If it's not, if it doesn't work, we move on. If it does work, sweet. You've saved yourself all the aggro, and you've got players who love the fucking club that want it to do well. <sighs> fuck me right i'm gonna roll glazer video coming out also about to drop this week's highlights if you want to go and watch paddock getting beat four nil and it kind of goes off a little bit as well in the game there's a bit of a punch up so um if you want to go and check that out over on Stratford paddock fc otherwise hit subscribe and i'll see you in the next one laters